Happy Monday, everyone. And as I said earlier, Carroll College head coach Mike Van Deest retired today. MTN Sports' Richie Melby was on campus today for Van Deest's farewell. There was laughter. <laughs> there were tears. Thanks, Jim. Plenty of memories. And more tears. I have never missed it. Monday morning was officially the end of an era. 20 years, 203 wins, 14 conference titles, six national championships, and one emotional goodbye as Mike Van Deest announced his retirement at Carroll College. As a part of who I am, that emotional part of me comes out in, in situations like this. And uh, my, my caring and passion for the game of football, for my players, for my family, uh, there's so many people to thank. I didn't get to thank, thank all of them today. What I remember most is just, as you said, the relationships. And, the emotions are tough. The accolades and honors are obvious. The championships, coach of the years, players of the year, the MVPs. But the majority of reactions surrounding Van Dees retirement seem to focus on relationships, mentoring, and building not only one program, but an entire conference to national prominence. We're very blessed to be recruiting good people coming from good families and good homes. So when you walk into their home, they see a, a coach like Jim Hogan or Nick Howard or myself. I think parents trusted their sons with us. I have two sons and one played here at football and the other one's in college at hockey. I understand how important it is to turn your most prized possession over to somebody. And we weren't there to take the place of families, but we were there in support of their families. Though he admitted he believed he could continue coaching, Van Deest mentioned the timing. His son Clay is a senior on the St. Norbert's College hockey team. His other son Shane, a new father in St. Louis. Van Deest, the coach, looks forward to dedicating all of his time to become Van Deest, the father and grandfather. Sure, he'll miss the football, scheming and planning, the passion of game day, but that was never the best draw anyway. The football part of it was great. The relationships were better. The scoreboard only tells half the story. It's time for Mike Van Deest to write the rest of his. Richie Melby, MTN Sports.